Falcon 20p, my name's Mark. Before we go on to what we're gonna talk about today, please check the date. Are you looking at the most recent video that we have done on this topic? We're gonna to be talking about financial standing. And if the financial standing has changed between us doing this video and you looking at it, it's obviously not gonna be relevant. So please just check the date, make sure it's the most up-to-date one. So, financial standing, We've had questions come in, numerous questions, about what is the current financial standing at the moment. We're talking about January 2022. Now this has been triggered by the fact that previous years, the Office of the Traffic Commissioner has put out notification about what the financial standing is going to be for the next year. Now normally, or previously I should say, before we came out of the EU, before glorious Brexit, the financial standing was set in euros and every year they had a look at the exchange rate of the, euro, the euros which would affect the amount of the financial standing in Great British Pounds. However, since Brexit, since we've come out of the EU, they've decided to set the figure in pounds, which means that no fluctuation because of exchange rates. So every year you get this notification about what it's going to be. This year, nothing. They've not told us that it's going to change, but equally they've not told us that it's going to stay the same, which it has. So, current financial standings are as follows. For HGVs and for PSVs, you are looking at £8,000 for your first vehicle and £4,500 for each subsequent vehicle. That is for a standard operator licence, standard national or standard international. If you've got a restricted operator licence, then the financial standing is slightly lower, and that is £3,100 for your first vehicle, £1,700 for each subsequent vehicle. Now, having spoken to the Office of the Traffic Commissioner, they have told us, I won't say confirmed, because confirmed would be the wrong definition, but they have told us that potentially, May 2022, things could alter. As I'm sure you're aware, as of May 2022, vans between 2.5 tonne and 3.5 tonne fall under operator licensing when they're going to be used on an EU journey. We'll cover that in another video. However, there will be financial standing specifically for those vans, and there's a potential that the financial standing for HGVs and PSVs could change at that time. But we don't know. We will put out another video if that alters at a later date. Now, just so as you are aware, just to remind you whether you're actually operating at the moment or whether potentially you are a, a student um, looking to get your transport management examination, the uh, qualification, um, just to remind you that this £8,000 and this £3,100 is only ever applied once. So if you have um, two or three operator licences across two or three traffic areas, and bear in mind you can only have one licence in one traffic area, then you would get £1,800 across all licences and the 4,500 for all of the subsequent vehicles. So just please bear that one in mind. And also don't forget, it doesn't apply to trailers. Fantastic. So any change to this, we'll put out a new video with updated information in it. Hope that's been useful to you. If you've got any comments, pop them down below, click like and subscribe so you're notified when we get new videos coming out. We'll see you again sometime, probably next week, in another video. Take care, see you soon.